everyone and welcome to the vault. My name is Tia Furstenberg. I am the registrar here at the Man Art Gallery in Prince Albert, Saskatchewan. And it's my absolute pleasure to bring you the first video in the Secrets of the Vault series, which is a virtual program that will hopefully be continuing in the coming weeks. So today I will be giving you a little guided tour of the vault and the permanent collection behind me, showing you how we store the artwork, what it looks like and all that fun stuff so if you have any questions while you're watching please jot them down below in a comment and i will do my best to answer them it's also my plan to in the coming weeks talk a little bit about some of the artists that we have in the permanent collection so if you would like me to talk about a particular artist please leave a comment below and I will do my best to do so. A full list of the artists that we have in the permanent collection is on the Man Art Gallery's website, which is manartgallery.ca. So go check it out. If an artist pops out at you, shout it down below and I will hopefully do my best to include them in a future video. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so this is what you see upon entering the vault. It's some wonderful shelves, how exciting. <laughs> so in here we keep a lot of the framed works in our collection. So they are either drawings or paintings or prints, photographs, and we also organize them by size. So we kind of keep that consistent if we walk around this way we get to our wonderful vault wall where we put a lot of the works that don't fit in a shelf or are too big or are just sculpturally impossible to stick in a shelf uh, this is one of my favorite pieces over here this dana Papescal. i lit it up just for you this is a special occasion i don't typically have it lit up but i thought why not and then you might be wondering what this box is. Uh, it is actually a new map case, which I will be building and putting a lot of our flat works in. So that includes drawings and prints and paintings that aren't framed. Over here is the computer that has our database on it. So you can search any artwork on this database and it will tell you the location and all the information you need to know and especially where we keep it in the vault and then over here we have uh, a lot of boxes that contain sculptural pieces pottery ceramics uh, and then here are a lot of flat works that are housed in lovely folders you'll see in here and then this is a map case that's what's gonna go over there another one of these and if we pull it out you can see what it looks like so we have a lot of little pieces that are drawings and paintings and they are housed in these mylar sheets of paper that are acid free so they won't deteriorate over time and as well as this sort of parchment as well so that's how we house those. These folders are just made out of like chloroplast and each artwork has a tag. So the tag has the name of the artist, which is right there, the title of it, and then the ascension number, which is specific to each work and each work has their own. And then we go over here. Here we have some sculptural pieces that are hard to put in a box as well. So they are just chilling here. Over here I have, uh, I call this the photo table because I photograph a lot of the artworks that we have in this particular area. Ooh, fun fact, you see these lights over here? So if you are a member of the Man Art Gallery, you have access to these lights. And so you can make an appointment, obviously not now because we are close to the public, but once we are open again, make an appointment with us to use the lights and you can photograph your own artwork. 
So that's pretty neat. And then over here is all the boxes that contain sculptures. How fun. Uh, I will open up a box so you guys can see what it looks like packed. So this is box. What box is this? Oh my goodness. 53A box one that I pulled from the shelf. We'll open it up and you guys can take a look. Look how pretty everything is packed. Everything is divided by these chloroplast dividers and they have some foam surroundings. And if you notice, there's handles here so we can actually lift this up and there's some more pieces below it so just so i just lifted that piece out and you'll see at the bottom there's another one that is sitting down below so that's typically what the boxes look like obviously not all of them have the these size sculptures some of them are more finely packed so but this just gives you an idea of how we keep our pieces in the boxes in it. Okay, moving on, we have this wonderful table in the middle of the space here, which has more chloroplast folders. And actually, I'm gonna be moving all the works that are in these folders into that new map case over there. So that's one of my jobs while we are close to the public. I don't typically keep artwork on the table here, but this is a piece by Linda Chartier that I still have to figure out a home location for. So she's just chilling on the table. All right, uh, as we head into the second sort of row of shelves, these house some of the bigger pieces that we have in the collection. There's some more boxes up there with more things. Another cool artifact is another Dana Papescal piece. This lovely chair. No, it cannot sit in it. Too bad. And then just more. More shelves. Shelves upon shelves upon shelves. And that, my friends, is pretty much the whole collection. We have over, actually, I want you guys to guess how many pieces we have in the permanent collection. Put a comment down below and I will let you know who is right in the next video. And there you have it, that's the vault. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today as I give you guys a look around. If anything piqued your interest or you have more questions, please leave them down below and I will do my best to answer them. Until then, I will see you guys soon. Have a wonderful week.